I fell in love with the stripped down bobber look of this bike. The problem with that is that it limits you on what you could bring with you on a ride. Let's go on a cruise and I'll tell you about the five things I always bring on my Indian Scout bobber. Number one, some tools and a good tire repair kit. I've been eyeing tool kits specific for this bike, but I still haven't pulled the trigger. I'll list them down below just in case you're interested. For now, I have a ratchet, some sockets, and a few other tools that I frequently use on the Indian Scout Bobber. I'll make sure to list them down in the description as well. And like I said, I also carry a tire repair kit and I have this smart tire pump by Lexan and it's come in handy a few times, so I really recommend it. There's cheaper options as well and I'll make sure to link them down below. Which brings me to number two, you're gonna need something to carry all this stuff. But first, today's Gearhead Sunday over at Revival Cycle. Let's go over there and check out some sick bikes. Here we are at Revival Cycle. This is their workshop. And every last Sunday of the month, they have this event where they allow us common people to come out and check out their shop. Pretty freaking cool. Look at this. These guys do works of art. Just in case you're not familiar with Revival Cycles, they are one of the most famous custom motorcycle shops in the country, and they host a hand-built motorcycle show here in Austin every year. Oh, man. I wish I could spend some time here, man. Just learning from these people. I wonder what they're doing to this guy. These Gearhead Sundays at Revival are always super fun, so if you're ever around, make sure to come by. Anyways, back to number two. You're gonna need a bag. In my case, I have this saddlebag that Indian Motorcycle did specific for this bike, and to be honest, it's a compromise. I prefer not to have it, but it's super convenient, and it's grown on me. It's also waterproof. Viking Bags and a few other companies do a swing arm bag for this bike, which I might get so I can move my tools to that. If you wanna to stick to that bobber style look and saddlebags aren't your thing, a backpack is an option. You want one with a chest strap like this, which helps distribute the weight. The one I use has this locking mechanism here, which is super easy to use, especially with gloves. And it also expands to fit a full face helmet in here. It also has a waterproof compartment and a few other goodies. It's a really, really good backpack. The price reflects it, but it's totally worth it. I traveled the country with this backpack and as you can see, it still looks like new. 100% recommend it. For number three, a phone mount. Now, the last thing I want to be doing while riding my bike is looking at my phone, but when you don't know where you're going or when you're on a long road trip, it's super convenient to have Google Maps up on your phone. I also like that it's almost like a preview of the road ahead. Now, obviously, you should keep your eyes on the road at all times, like glancing at your phone every now and then just to see what's up. Again, super convenient. I've been using this Qualock phone mount for years now, and I'm a big fan. This one is the pro version, which is made of black anodized CNC machine aluminum with the vibration dampener and wireless charging head. I'll link everything in the description. Use RNSM10 for a 10% discount. And in number four, a Bluetooth comms unit. For the first few months of riding with my wife, we didn't have any Bluetooth communication. Once we got these cheap ones from Amazon, we realized how much we were missing out. They weren't the best, but they got the job done. Now, if you're trying to communicate with a buddy on another bike, that's not gonna work. That's why we went ahead and upgraded to Cardo. These are top of the line and the price reflects it, but let me tell you, it is 100% worth it. I've been paired with at least six people at the same time and we've had no issues. 
It's waterproof, it comes with JBL speakers and features like automatic volume adjustment based on environmental noises, voice recognition, and probably my favorite feature, air mount. Isn't that cool? And last but not least, number five. This is a must, especially when your bike sounds like this. I've used your regular earplugs before, but I strongly recommend investing in something like this. I've had the Eargasm before and they work really good, but I prefer these. I feel like these feel more secured in the ear, but you know, either one would do the job. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, make sure to do all that fun stuff, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, share with your friends, and also let me know down in the comments what do you guys carry every day. Anyways, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Which Oh my god. It's so embarrassing, sorry. Somebody just came out running. This is embarrassing. What whatever the